So I was talking with Zill recently, and often our conversations lead to tech talk, and he informed me about the growing issue with the RX 480. The car that everyone's been waiting for to stick it to NVIDIA is now stuck into early adopters. And how so, do you might ask? Jonker5101 posted this, but there is a number of things I was looking at, but I'm only going to read you two reports that I felt are eloquent and clear and precise, or decisive, I should say, in the matters at hand. With Tom's Hardware reporting that the RX 480 draws substantially more than 75 watts allowed from the motherboard, for example, the PCIe Express high power card specs allows a maximum of 66 watt to be drawn from the 12 pins on the PCI Express slot, and the RX 480 averages 79 watts from the 12 volt lines alone. AMD seems to be violating the PCI Express R specs. According to the licensing contract the specs, if they do not fix this within three months, AMD will not be able to call this card a PCI Express card. If they do, they will face not only legislation, but if my understanding is correct, an action before the U.S. International Trade Commission, ITC, to ban the importation of the card as counterfeit goods. You might think that PCI SIG, or PCI SIG, I'm guessing, will give AMD a pass, but if they do, they risk losing the trademark entirely. An unforced trademark gets invalidated. The SIG won't let it happen. So what does this mean to the consumer? I think that there are two possibilities. If we assume AMD will not choose to remove the PCI Express logos from their cards, either they will alter the boards to have an 8-pin socket, or they will neuter the card to ensure it doesn't draw more power from the PCI Express specifications allowed. I don't see any other options. Disclaimer, the person who wrote this is an attorney, by the way, but I practice patent law, not trademark law. This post does not constitute legal advice and does not create an attorney client relationship. Interesting. Oh, this is from a forum post. Now, from what I understand, this is damaging low-end motherboards, and I'm not quite sure what constitutes low-end in PC gaming to me. Like, I guess low-end would be a $30 board, a $40 board, $60 maybe, $70, but how low are we talking? Because... Currently, in my computer, I have a $150 board, and I know that's not the most expensive board I could have gotten. I personally wanted a saver tooth, but I couldn't justify $200. I mean, I could now, but I don't have the money, you know what I'm saying? It, like, I was on a budget, so I had to get the best bang for the buck. So how much of the boards are getting destroyed? I guess if you were trying to do a budget build, you probably don't want to mess with the RX 480 right now. Currently, your best bet would be to wait till the partner cards come out, as they will for sure put on an 8-pin connector or an 8 and a 6-pin connector, making sure that the GPU itself receives enough power draw so it doesn't have to pull from the PCI Express and fry out somebody's motherfucking money motherboard. Now, this post has been updated that the RX 480 has passed the PCIe compliance testing with the PCI SIG. This is not just our internal testing. I think that it should be made very clear, obviously, that there are a few GPUs exhibiting abnormal behavior, and we've been in touch with these reviewers for a few days to better understand their test configurations and see how this could be possible. Hmm. I don't know. I'm seeing, like, if you Google right now RX 480 frying people's motherboards, you'll see there's a lot of people complaining about this. Wow, I'm glad I didn't get one for testing. I mean, I'd have to pay for it because AMD wasn't going to give me shit to review. Hmm. Now, even on hardware forms, someone wrote, Polaris is a massive per slash watt failure. Mid-range Pascal GPU 106 will run all over Polaris in efficiency. My apologies to Kyle for being rude towards his earlier statement on Polaris inefficiency. AMD has got into the habit of overhyping and underdeveloping. NVIDIA already had the architectural lead in efficiency with Maxwell. With Pascal, NVIDIA also has the TSMC process lead, which has exacerbated the efficiency problem. I think GF14 LPP processors is one of the major problems here, as the TSMC 16FF Plus is a significantly superior process with much better electronical characteristics and yield for high performance GPUs. Basically, AMD has chosen the wrong fab partner due to their WSA commandments. Anyway, AMD has rolled their dice. NVIDIA's dominance of the GPU market will continue. AMD has to just shut up and go back to the drawing board and come up with something much more competitive in terms of perf slash watts performance slash wattage. Most importantly, they should stop talking, period. They are now bordering on the ridiculous with their pre-release hype. 
Fury X and Polaris, it's unfortunate that AMD has failed to compete and Nvidia lead is only widening. The only saving grace is DX12 performance is still solid on Polaris. Yes, but the problem is DX12 isn't exactly the norm right now. Like, uh, DX12 in the long run, when DX12 becomes the standard and DX11 in 11.1 is finally left in the dust, OpenGL, Vulkan, etc., I think AMD will do far better than. AMD is almost like future uh, built GPUs versus NVIDIA, which gives you now relief or the now performance. And that was a post by RagHuel78. So, right now, if you have a cheaper build and you have your eye on the RX 480, I would suggest waiting until AMD fixes this or until like i don't know sapphire puts out their rx480 card uh xfx puts out their rx480 card etc i would wait until then if you had an eye on an rx480 this is a little sad i mean the performance though it was good being a par for 970 it's great for 200 dollars but overall, this added problem is so underwhelming. It, it almost seems typical of AMD. It's like one minute they put out something that makes you sit there and go, Go AMD! You can do it! Stick it to NVIDIA! And then, like, they just fall right in their fucking face. I don't know. I can't come up with a good analogy. This is actually quite sad. I was really interested in the RX 480s, and now I'm very put off to them as something I would use in my personal rig. Which doesn't surprise me. They did this before with the Fury X. I was in line to buy a Fury X. The Fury X came out and it underperformed versus the 980 Ti and I just said fuck it, I'll get a 980 Ti. <laughs> too much hype, too little deliverance, but in this day and age everything is hype. Oh well, don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, thank you for tuning into my channel, don't forget that I have a Twitch and a Twitter, and I will see you ASAP.